Hi guys, I just wanted to record a brief intro to this video. Um, basically this episode is about me trying and failing and trying and failing and finally succeeding to build a drowning trap around the skeleton spawner. Now the video is a little bit disjointed because basically it took me ages and ages and ages to get it working and I kept coming back to it, rejigging it, doing it again and it was it was an absolute nightmare and it didn't work the first time and so there's a few clips and then of me trying to build do the starting build and then there's some other bits and pieces of video covering the failures um, but right at the end I do manage to get it working so that's good news so anyway this is the video um, thanks very much for watching cheers Hi everyone, welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Island and today we are in the challenge room and I am going to have a go at building uh, where is it? Drowning trap around the skeleton spawner so we're going to have a go at that, I've just been watching a couple of future tutorials on YouTube and we're going to go down to the skeleton spawner and see if we can get something Good work, and oh, I need water first. Hang on one second. Probably should be having my holding my sword. Right, so let's go. Tidy up the cactus farm. Got that three cactus. Um, need some buckets of water. And help her to take a couple of extras. Put the cactus on to cook and let's head down to the skeleton spawner. Oh, some nice relaxing music. Um, this way? This way. We look to put up a sign. strongholds. Here we go, skeleton spawner. Right, okay, cool. Right, we need to get in there and initially we need to deactivate it. And we need to find somewhere good to dig. Let's just check there's no mobs around this way. No, it looks good. So let's get Oh, oh something by surprise. in there. Oh, oh, creep up. I don't think you can see me, which is quite cool. Right, let's try and get that deactivated. Kill off the last of these skeletons. Get that spider. Probably going to be vaguely safe. Let's head in here, see what's going on. The goodies. Ah, see, look at that. Just goes to prove what they say about skeletons. What, uh, what the hell am I doing? What they say about spawners is true. Just putting one of them on top, a uh, torch on top, doesn't necessarily deactivate them. Right, we need. Um, we need a room five wide. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right now, I'm sure that should be closer. Oh, uh, yeah, because I maybe put up all this, didn't I? Right, okay. So we can deal with that once we've dug out some the space so what we need to do is we need to dig a five by five around the spawner <laughs> that's not going to help having the torches there is it let's light them up this way instead let's see if that works not one there that should be 
be alright. Okay. Uh, five across, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, just remember, don't kill the spawner. Right. skeleton then. Where has that spawned? I don't want to be snuck upon by skeletons. There's one there, little git. Gotcha. So that's down two and we need to dig out another layer. just to make sure I've got an escape route. Okay. Now what's going to happen is we're going to have water coming down from up there. It's going to flow this way. And they're going to drown. Now, we need to dig out some more this way now. on this side just to make sure we don't it doesn't we don't get mobbed and we need some f uh, need a couple of ladders while we're here just so it doesn't take up too much room okay and then I think I'm gonna have to block up this side uh, let's leave it for the time being because I'm gonna need to dig this way a bit more anyway Pretty simple um, mechanism for drowning skeletons and collecting their their loot, um, but we do need to. Uh, we do you do you do need very few materials, like I say, some ladders, but you also need a a bit of glass, which I've got. See how it goes in a minute. Let's just try and work out an entrance into here should be coming out somewhere yep cool that's good coming out there that's pretty cool okay so let's go back around here we can take our 
crafting table because we're not going to need that there anymore okay so we're in here so then we need to put glass across here uh, we can put that there oh Fill the spacing in a minute because we need to get through there for the time being. Then we need to we need to fill in this gap now, unfortunately. So let's do that. So we need a cool stone there. Uh, let's just try and make it look vaguely smart. And cool stone there. Okay. Okay. Let's take that torch down. I don't know that I'm about to reach that. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's just hope we don't get anything spawning for the time being. Now we need, I think we need one little niche, extra water niche there. Now I'm going to have to fill that in, that side. And one there. That's cool. Okay, so let's wander down this way. Uh, should we put the glass across the top too? It's still light enough in here yet. We don't seem to be spawning anything, which is all good. Let's go this way. Just see where that little hole is, because we need to brick up around there. So that should be fairly easy. So let's just brick that up, and actually we can just oh, tidy this up. Some coal, that's cool. Right now, we need to make a space for a water source in here. We can do a water source there, can't we? One, two, three. There we go. Okay, right. What we need to do then is we need to put water uh, here. Here. Here and a bit more. Yep. Here, and we need to get some more water. Oh, this could be entertaining. There's our last bucket. Oh man, where have you come from? Well, we're going to need a door. Let's just block that up for the time being. Now we need to get back in here. Because we need to put uh, water here. And... Right, let's get up on this sh shelf. We need to put water... Oh, actually what I need to do is I think I need to build a bit of a... step and because I'm needing to rescue my torches I mean water there and uh, maybe we don't need water there then maybe we need one along the next we need water there like that that's better and let's block that one off dig that one out water there okay then we need to get ready because the skeletons are going to start to spawn quite quickly let's go and we need some glass very quickly Why is that not flowing through there? Is that skeleton actually dying? Oh no, we need to... Oh, I'm such a plonker. I 
That's why it's not working. Well, that's why the water's not flowing through. There we go. That's got it. Okay, and now I need, just need to block block that up with glass. And I will need to take out that other piece of Right, okay, there we go. Right, that's cool. Okay. I'll get out now. Right, there we go. Okay. Now, they should drown in there. Let's see if it works. Bit of fish while we're watching the watching the fun. Do you think they're drowning? Or do you think they're surviving? They're surviving, aren't they? I haven't done something quite right with that. I think it needs the water needs to be one level higher, maybe. Well, we might have to come back to that, guys. I'll be back with you in a minute. I've obviously built this trap roll, but it is quite funny. Look at all these skeletons desperately trying to stay alive and stay afloat. I dug it a bit deeper because I thought they might just fall down deeper, but they don't. So I want the next thing I'm going to try is pouring some water in on the top from this side. If I can, oops. Uh, but for that, I'm going to need to dig up a bit. Um, one more, maybe. Let's put a step in. Looks like they're just going to come, be able to jump up that. Oh. Need one more bucket. Let's plonk that in there. Right, how's that? Is that working out? Still not working, is it? I don't think I've got the water in quite the right place. Let's go and have a look in from the other side. Oh, what 
doing there? I we started shooting one in there, that's quite funny. Let's just plonk a torch there. Alright. And where's my bow and arrow? See look they're not dying, so I'm guessing that they're not they don't drown. Which is hardly fair, is it? So that water is going to stop the flow, I think. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Okay. Alright, well, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get this to work, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back with some more Minecraft Survival Land very soon. Cheers. So hopefully, skeletons should start spawning. And by the time we get down there, there should be some... Dying. Oh, what's that there? Hello, zombie. Headless zombie. That's quite a funny, uh, funny texture. That one. I quite like that. And there's another one down there. A pair of headless zombies. Sort this one out as well. Whoops. Got him. Oh, can you hear the wonderful sound of skeletons dying? Let's check it out. And there we have it. We've got a wonderful viewing platform. And we've got a skeleton spawner up there. The water washes them down. They eventually drown in here. I, I, my initial problem was they didn't seem to be drowning, but you just need to dig it deeper, and they do. They do settle in the bottom and, and basically drown in the end because of the pressure of the water. And then if we go down the ladder, dun dun dun, this is the collection area. So basically, all of the stuff flows underneath. There's a couple of um, water sources on the side to sweep the loot into the middle. And then it drops down these steps into this hopper and into the chest. And there we go, 13 arrows, 13 bones. Oh, let's just watch, see if we can watch some of that coming down the... Uh, coming down, those arrows coming down there. And some bones right into the middle. Stand here, let's try not to catch them and watch them fall into the hopper. Look at that, more arrows, more dying skeletons. So, that's that job done eventually, finally. What a nightmare that was. Anyway, I'm really pleased with that. It's working perfectly now. Um, just took a bit of perseverance and, um, and some time. So, let's just quickly go back up to the challenge room and have a look and see what we've got left to do. Skeletons die and they make a great sound. Here we are again. So, two story house, 20 windows done, 10 bookcases robbed, done, cactus farm done, tree farm done, animal traps still working on that, drown trapper and skeleton spawner done. So, build a cart system, build something with redstone, gather 10 by on diamonds done. This is all good stuff, we're getting there, we're slowly getting there. Um, build a cart system, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. I was tempted to build one to the fortress, but actually. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, that might be a bit too far, um, the stronghold I meant, um, because maybe I could go to the end if I've got enough ender, ender eyes, but I'm not sure whether that's going to happen to be honest. Um, so I might just build a cart system, maybe up and down, um, or I might I might just try and find somewhere else interesting to go to with that. Build something with redstone, I'm still not sure, I'm going to have to have a look on the wiki and see what I can do. Anyway, we're getting there, survival island, I'm surviving, um, I'm still surviving mainly off of fish and bread, um, I haven't done any fishing for a while, mainly because it's not been raining, um, but we should have some more wheat on the grow at the moment, yep, anyway, 
there we go guys thanks very much for watching I'll be back soon with more Minecraft Survival Island. Cheers.